And here we go, we're live once again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GFW's Momentum. We are live this Saturday night. My name is Nick, of course, along with my good friend and broadcast colleague Dave. And Dave, we're hot off the heels, fresh off the heels of, of course, a uh, monument, monumental fight uh, just last night, actually, uh, where we managed to crown a new um, GFW undisputed champion, and that man was the face of GFW himself. Devil, what is your reaction? First of all, my friend, to what we witnessed last night in that main event. I mean, congratulations, you know, to the face, Devil. You can't take anything away from him. Devil, uh, Dangerous Man, Devil. I've always been neck and neck when it comes to, you know, big match situations. Well, Dave Devil. loses. Oh, sorry, buddy. Go ahead. Oh, you crack on. I was just going to say, Dave, we're just getting news filtering in preliminary reports here telling us that Dangerous Man has also suffered, along with Nick Knightley and Tornado Dave, uh, what was being classed as a double concussion. Um, so that is a real shame that, you know, the match had to go ahead last night or it could not be postponed was the problem, really. Yeah, I've seen on GFW.com actually, there was a, a, a notification moments ago um, stating that there was insider information that the dangerous man may have been hurt at hard to kill, but there was no actual confirmation. Yeah, the problem is, Dave, GFW superstars tend to do a great job of shielding injuries from doctors, you know, and if they say they feel fine, maybe sometimes doctors should step in, you know, that's the argument, but as we get momentum underway here and uh, look at Fighter Dave, what is going on with this guy, I mean... We heard a few weeks ago that he just got stripped of being head coach because he married a Bulgarian woman, Zvetlana, I believe her name is, and she is pro-Russia in the Russian conflict, and she's been getting a lot of abuse online and on social media. And Fighter is, I think, doing this out, out of support for his wife, but I mean, a little bit too far, don't you think? I mean, love makes you do crazy things anyway. I mean, I, I, I don't think I've, I've seen Fighter since he wore jeans back in the day. <laughs> well, he's back to full time competition here now as uh, he's no longer a head coach on Fight, of course, as a uh, punishment. But. So but like you said, I wonder how these two men are faring after um, being dropped on, on the locker. Well, yeah, these three guys were actually part of the assault uh, last night, and we're still looking, Dave, to get updates on that regarding the identities of the individuals um, involved in last night's proceedings, but... I mean, as this much new CW. But Dave, you know, all these fight matches tonight, you know, they all have a, a significance because if you win your match tonight, um, you get entry into the <coughs> fight battle front match. That's huge. That is massive, man. man. That is, um, oh, well, that, that is like that is a the, the golden ticket of um, off yeah, opportunities where, where it comes to um, you know our, our guys progressing to that next level. Yeah, absolutely. And just to touch more, Dave, again on the uh, situation with Dangerous Man. I mean, in your opinion, Dave, do you think the match should have been postponed? But then again, the argument to that is that Demon and Devil, you know, Forsaken have 
The Hayes have a schedule for Forsaken as well, don't they? So the match had to take place as soon as possible, basically. But if both men were hurt, I mean, I don't really know what the best thing to do there is, to be honest with you. I think Mitchell Road did the best he could in an unwinnable situation. You know, we, we, we knew the scramble match was going to be brutal. We didn't think it was going to be that brutal. Yeah, you know, 25 minutes of people getting dropped on their head on the concrete, you know, it's... Literally, four of the five people that were in it are now on the bench. Yeah, and the, know, the, Devil, the, the, only, the only person that's standing tall is Devil. Devil also took some big bumps though, Dave. You know, so you, Devil must be in a bad way as well. You know, he's just somehow managed to hide it more. Um, but yeah, I think we do have, a, of course, a uh, responsibility to the health and well-being of these superstars. But Dave, if people say they can compete, you know, I mean, they're going to compete, is, right? Like, they were, it was basically... I mean, look at Vader and Nightmare in that match. It had, to be, it had to be done. It was the end of the end of the labyrinth, you know, the end of the scramble. It was it was a match that couldn't wait. You know, and now both parties, you know, the Hayes and Mr. Rochison know well what's happening now because that's Devil Champion on fight now, which means Devil will be on fight until he's no, he's no longer champion. And Dave, this might be a little bit early. I don't know if I know that you're the you're the info guy when it comes to Forsaken, but do you know of any whispers or any rumblings of what's happening now with Devil's status on Forsaken? You know, or is that gonna be something that'll be announced in the coming hours and days? I mean what happens with Devil and Forsaken's Battlefront match now? Does that still go ahead? I mean does that have implications, what happened last night, on the battlefield situation? It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to tell, I think. It wouldn't be fair for Devil to be working on Forsaken and Fight when he's Fight's champion. I think Devil would most likely be a Fight competitor until the end of the title reign. Would be how I would do it, you know. I'm not the I'm I'm not the boss, but you know, the haze have been point, the, yeah. the haze have been quite open about what they expect from everybody as 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 competitors, but they would never want to put who are who are oh. they would, they would oh. ne never want to put pressure on people to do doubles you know that that's how you get injuries that's how people end up out oh my god and again fighter my god he's dissecting Blazer here tonight oh wow fighter just Kicked his way, karate kicked his way into the battlefront match, Dave, on fight. Fighter qualifies for battlefront. Damn. Wow. He, he is a young commander, trust the good motherfuckers. He's <laughs> 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 going to be saying barber <laughs> Holy crap. That's huge for him. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> Socks <laughs> you across my jaws. Oh yeah, he fucking tables burling. As long as it's the air smoke trains. OCW socks, that's all I can say. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh dear me. Here we go, lads. Well Dave, we're hearing that uh Marquez, of course, has, um, due to a back injury, has um, retired 
an in-ring competition. He will continue to be Ibanez's manager, but the, what are your thoughts on that? Can I... <laughs> it's, for, it's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ, Ryan Green Ahmed's. Well, I'm sure he can do just as much damage on the outside. Well, this could be fair. On the inside, I really need, needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Come on, Barrowoods. Yeah, this is good. another this two out of three tonight, folks. Battlefront matches. We're getting close to you know the uh, spots. Dave are dwindling down here now. You know, and like you said, just in the first match there, you know, you're looking for the golden ticket here, and this is one way to get it. I mean, Dave, just for, for example here now, if you just say Destiny was on your side and the, the stars align, the planets align, you qualify tonight. So if you're Jake Barrett or if you're a fighter or if you're a pandemonium and you qualify tonight and you've got Lady Luck on your side and you get a late number in Battlefront match, I mean, that, that's going to be career altering, right? career changer for one oh, of yeah. these men potentially so that's you in the kill the world main event that's you challenging for the GFW championship against you know whoever it may be by then it's just it's it's a game changer you know, look, 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 look back at history Robert Venderon drafted to um, War 5, Robert Venderon, under the tutelage of Dangerous Man, may I add, wins the Over the Edge match, challenges his now mentor for the Heavyweight Championship at uh, Kill the World, or d as it was called back then, wins, you know, and that's the, that's the, like you said, that's Lady Luck, that's the progression, that's what you're wanting. You're wanting to, you know, go from, you know, I, 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 like, no disrespect to people, but like a mid-card level, lower card level, to the main event of Cover Road and be the man by the end of it. That's the whole point of Battlefront. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, not only, Dave, is it like the King of the Mountain anymore, BCWA, you know, you get something at the end of it, potentially. But it's at the time of year, you know, Battlefront situated at the time of year where not only do you get something at the end of it, but you get something at the end of it at the grand, the biggest stage of them all. The granddaddy of them all, kill the world. You know, one of these men, or, you know, one of the 30 men that potentially it enters into each battlefront match on Fighting Forsaken can they handle the, the responsibility? Can they handle the pressure? The pressure? Sixty men across both brands will be squaring off for the respective titles, you know, the undisputed GFW championship and the holy grail the holy grail of the global championship. Um, kill the world, you know, if we're getting to that fever pitch stage. And Dave, I've got no doubt that Battlefront is going to break records again. Much like Revolution did, much like Hard to Kill did. Well, you know, Hard to Kill. And it's over. Oh, what the hell? Oh, did... Oh, I think, did Marquez get involved there? <laughs> he did. Well, that was the weirdest and, way to end the match in the history of And GFW. Jake Barra has qualified wow. for the Battlefront match. Oh, look at Ibanez, he's irate with Marquez here. What the hell are you doing? You've just cost me. Marquez just oh, tried to, to separate them, to get them both back in the ring, and the referee did not take kindly to the fact that Marquez put his hands on Barrett. 
Well, that's the thing, isn't it, Dave? You know, it's like putting your hands on an official. You just don't do it. Don't even think about it. You know, it's... My God, and Barrett, Dave, has had a massive reprieve here. Because he now qualifies for the Battlefront match by disqualification. Holy crap. He's walking up the ramp with a smile on his face while Ibanez is, like, looking completely oh. glaky at Marquez. Barrett, Barrett now is tilted his hat now to both of these guys arguing at ringside. Dave, I think Barrett's just outsmarted Ibanez tonight. Which now leads us, Dave, now to our final fight contest here. Which, of course, will pit Pandemonium against Union Jack. And he's green and, he's green and white socks. Nee, 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 nee. Ah, <laughs> oh, is Union Jack still a thing? I thought he was gone. Oh <laughs> shit, we're left. <laughs> <coughs> 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 I think um, do, 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 bugger, bugger. We should do. A, we should do a poll of the most hated people. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> so system shock. Union Jack. Can I like that? Weird. New Dawns. Um, <laughs> oh come on! They just got to beat up on fighting. Show some some compassion. I but the, the, the hard to come in. I'm on the OCW. <laughs> 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 Imagine you just see General's head coming through the ring and the ball shines. <laughs> just as for the Williams Berlin Union Union Jack. <laughs> Uh, he went, it's time, son, it's time, son. <laughs> it's time, son. <laughs> Pump out the morning, tearing off the red, he's, he's green again. <laughs> and Dave, I don't think we had a favourite, you know, in any of these matches tonight, but, you know, so far anyway, but I think, you know, Pandemonium has to be favourite here, surely. Well, you know, just based on I, the recent I, form, he returns, becomes national champ. I, 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 I would have said in the Barrett match that Barrett was a favourite kind of <laughs> There we go, we'll add Ibanez to that list. <laughs> <coughs> he's, he's made the list. Ah, he's, he's sitting there with a clipboard and a pen. I think um, Pandemonium, you know, he's one in one. He's won one, he lost one. He won on his return, became national champion, he lost the national title at the pay per view. But I can't remember the last time I seen Union Jack since he got punted off for sake and hell yeah. Yeah, well it was I think much like Karen Dave, I think it's been a while Union Jack's we've not had any news of any injuries or personal issues, anything of that nature, so Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just another one of those situations, you know, where Cannon was off for a while, came back and impressed. Prince Ayakea was off for a while, came back and impressed. Yeah, so I think it's, we... it's, it's, it's different for Ayakea. Ayakea, I think, got told to go and get his head straight after yeah. you know, Devil kicked it clean afterwards. <laughs> yeah, because he wasn't really the same, was he, after that? No. And after his defeat to 47, I think just he hit rock bottom, I kind of think, after that. Yeah, and Mr. Rowe, because he's, he's put so much pressure on the, on, on the pillars to be the best, Ikea, Ikea probably felt like he wasn't doing it, so he he took the time off. You know, Cannon, again, is a former champion at the start, you know, and then wasn't seen for a while, came back and dominated. He, I, I don't, I can't. Like I'm struggling to recall if Union Jack even had a match since uh, being released from Forsaken. Um, you know what? It's a good question, Dave. I can't think off the top of my head if he has performed on a, a fight or a momentum. I don't think he has. I really don't think he has. I mean, fucking okay, Union Hearst Thameses. I think the one thing, Dave, I would say is, you know, much like Cannon last night, you've got to put that behind you now. You know, you're you're about to enter into a match, you know, with quite big implications. Um, 
you know, you have to focus on what's what's in front of you, which is pandemonium. Six eight, <coughs> three hundred and thirty odd pounds. Yeah, I think if, if not, they're using if not, Jack, doesn't concentrate on the big man. The big man will swallow him whole. I mean, we did see Dave. Okay, without being disrespectful to Pandemonium, you know, he took Nightmare by surprise and won the belt off of him. When we take it, when you took away the surprise factor, you know, he Nightmare, you know, won out. But you know, Pandemonium, I would say, no disrespect to Union Jack, but. Oh, Pandemonium, you would think, is more mid-card. He's not under-card, is he? So, I think he's going to be looking to prove that tonight. But Union Jack has to focus on what's at stake here. Uh, if he, Union Jack, I wouldn't even say under-card. I, I think Union Jack's on the back pages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on the... <laughs> the back page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the on the index page, <laughs> on the bottom page. You can jump this here, please. Well, Dave, you know, it was an interesting situation, wasn't it? Because it's not often that you hear the Hayes saying, "Look, we can't do anything with this guy." You know, because they've, they, the Hayes are known for making stars out of nothing. And to, to hear that the Hayes couldn't do anything with this guy was. It was quite sobering, wasn't it? It was quite, holy crap, you know. Was it maybe just that the Hayes didn't get along with him backstage? Because he is a pompous little git, you know, let's be honest about it. He was born into a rich family. He's a blue, a blue blood, whatever you call them. He's privileged. You know, is that the problem? Is it his attitude? Is that what the problem is here? With Union Jack. I just, I don't I mean, know. It, it, it definitely can be. He's not likeable. In the slightest. I don't think he's, he doesn't hang around with anyone backstage. You know, no. as well. So that's the he, thing also, he, you know. He, he, he is a loner. I, I can't help but think there might be some kind of an attitude there. I mean, the ability is there. You know, he's 6'3". Oh. Oh. oh, hold on now. God. Oh, pandemonium though. And 6 8. Showing the, his power there. Oh! Even in Jack, you know, he does have that kind of classic British style of wrestling behind him. Um, so, you mean oh. Jack? I can't say that he's not, you know, this a talented individual. Right. But. He's that's just, he's just not likeable. No, you can be as athletically gifted as you want, but if no one likes you, yeah. you're not going to go very far. He doesn't have a good attitude with, you know, the fans. He doesn't have a good relationship with anyone backstage. He no, talks down I to mean, people, you know, I don't, that's not I think it, is it? And Mr. Orchestron brought him back. This also just didn't give him a title match as a part of his, his oh. return policy. I think that was the only time that he was in action. Um, I, I, I lost that title match and he hasn't been seen since. Yeah. I actually believe that, that is the, to answer your question from earlier. Oh, you can get the recovery now. Barely got a two count. Um, Union Jack's last appearance, I think. I don't think he's appeared live on Fight since we went global. Um, but I think his last appearance might have been when he was in... Wasn't he part of the Event Horizon qualification? Is that the last time it would have been that we've seen Union Jack? That was a long time ago now. I mean, we're talking just after the launch. Well, I thought it was... I thought it was... The interstate title match that he got as part of his contract. And oh, yes. He signed yes, so that's, the, that is what it was. Once he signed for fight after yeah, being right. dropped by Forsaken. I think he... Who was the champion at that time? Was that Samurai? Yeah, yeah you're right. He did get an interstate championship match. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But even then, that was a while ago now. As well. And, oh, pandemonium. Jesus Oh, it's the power. Pandemonium is looking good again here tonight. 
no sign of the general, so that's a good sign. Oh, oh, oh there's that move that <laughs> put Ringer oh. away in a uh, fight last week. Correct. I got nowhere. Oh, Roman Jack did well to kick out of that. And we're seeing now, Dave, here why you know, Pandemonium was chosen to be the, the muscle of OCW back in the day, I mean. Big dude. Oh, hold on here, Roman Jack, though. Burning power slam out of nowhere. Showing some power of his own there. Oh, the pandemonium there. Managing to get a shoulder up. Uh, Ian Jack's having his moments in this match, but I think whenever he starts to build offense and gets a bigger two count, pandemonium's right back on him. Oh, look at those small hands. Well, what's this now? Oh my god! Oh, oh ref, come on, oh, man! Oh! 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 oh. Damn. And see, this is what I'm oh, talking about. You know, he needs, this, to be, man. he needs to be. He needs to cover the pandemonium there. But no, he chooses to try. So, like, you look at how strong I am! So, yeah, you enjoy it. Focus on the 6 8 opponent, you know. Oh, hold on. Oh, set up power oh, bomb. Set up power bomb, I've got nothing there. Oh, is this going to do it? Oh, jeez. <sighs> oh my god, Paul and is in a bit of trouble here. Look at that entire little clip. Try out! Do you see how screwed up he's not? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, for holy! Oh, for holy! <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe your matches have ended with this nonsense. <laughs> I know, disqualification. Fucking, now this leads. Fucking, I have heard somebody be spinning his grave. <laughs> Oh dear me, well that mm. does mean mm. with disdain and voice needs <laughs> that um you <laughs> will qualify for the Battlefront match. Holy crap. Let's just hope he doesn't come out last guy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Take, Take this boy, take this boy. What do you give her a teaspoon off your nose? <laughs> <laughs> it just chucks it. It's your Berlin. <laughs> oh, and now, ladies and gentlemen, over to our forsaken broadcast broadcast team, Nick and Dave. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nick and Dave. Thanks, Nick and Dave. Can we change the names of the rooms? Can just switch it off. Right, that's it. Okay, buddy, oh, it's over to yourself. Hell. 